Fresh Montana, man. It's a new fucking year, new money, man. You know what it is. That's what I'm saying. Call them million boys, you know. Third World Hustlers, man. If y'all niggas don't understand, do y'all motherfucking math, man. Go back and see what it is, man. We came from nothing, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Shout out to my nigga Mega. Everybody on their motherfucking grind, because I'm still on my motherfucking grind. I'm next up the bat, nigga. So you know what it is, nigga. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about who I really am and uh, the racial discrimination on my channel and what I'm going to do going forward. There's going to be some things happening. Okay, first of all, I want to tell y'all, this right here, see this DVD? I used to shoot videos and do interviews, and I used to put these out. Now, I did these DVDs with a lot of various people, Smack DVD, uh, The Come Up, all those DVDs. If you know anything about hip-hop, Smack DVD, the guy from URL, the battle rap, my friend's battle rap, you know, y'all might actually see me in some of those videos. I'll be there at some of those events. But um, that's because my friends rap. They do music. So I was the dude that went to school and got good grades. I went to visual art school and I learned how to do a lot of visual art stuff. And graphics and, and technology was always my thing growing up. Now, my friends used to make fun of me because, yeah, I hung out, but I went to school. I had the type of mother and father that I had to go to school. So, um, you know, my father was the type of person that... The greatest incentive for me growing up, I'm gonna tell you a trick that works. If you're a parent, this will work. It worked for me, man. Um, my father used to tell me, he, they brought me, my mother and father brought me a Nintendo when I was little. I grew up in the 80s, right? I'm gonna tell you a real quick story. And this shit works if you're a parent, check this out. They told me if I wanted a new game, I had to beat the other game that I had and I had to get 100 on my next test. Y'all know how many hundreds I got when they told me that and I played Zelda? Zelda was probably one of the first games I played, and man, man, yo, the, 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 the history, but anyway, long story short, um, you know, growing up like that, I used to go to school, now, video games always inspired me to learn, like, graphical stuff, so I went to graphic school, and my friends used to make fun of me, oh, man, yeah, you were a nerd, da, 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 ha, ha, ha. Now, I grew up in a bad neighborhood, so think about that. My friends used to make fun of me. They'd be out there fighting and all that, and these are my friends. So, as we got older, you know, think the stuff that I learned came to fruition, and they turned into these, you know, these DVDs. I uh, shot a lot of videos and did interviews. See? These DVDs, if y'all ever go to the store, y'all might see these DVDs. These are stuff that I worked on, all those my DVDs, or I did those. See what I'm saying? I did that with Jim Jones. 50 cent in them, you know, so, um, you, when you, when you see that, now I'm not doing this to brag, I'm explaining something to y'all, because a lot of people say that I sound ghetto, and I have an accent, and da, 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 um, I'm from New York, I grew up in hip-hop, so I can't help but be who I am, you feel what I'm saying, a lot of discrimination goes on on my channel, and the, the comments are becoming, uh, they're spanning all over my channel, where people are saying that I sound gangster, or, you you know, I sound like I'm trying to be this, that, and the third. I'm a father, too. I grew up in the 80s. Grew up in a rough neighborhood. And, um, you know, I used to come from school. I can remember coming from school and getting arrested by the police, man. And I got a book bag on. You know, I'm a kid. I got arrested so many times. And I managed to not have a criminal record. I managed to never go to jail. You know, I managed to keep my nose clean, as they would say. And do these things that I love. You know... I don't appreciate those comments. That that pisses me off when I see things like that because y'all don't know who I am. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm trying to be more professional because now I have sponsorships. I have uh, I have sponsorships. I have game developers sending me game codes. They asking me to review games and you know they're giving me stuff to give away for you guys. So I'm figuring to myself, you know what? This is not good if people think that I'm some kind of person that's advocating anything ignorant or gangster. I'm a father too, so why would I do that? I have nephews that are subscribed to me and they watch these videos. I don't want them thinking that being ignorant and stupid and acting like you don't have an education is okay. I never ever came off that way at all, but because of my accent, maybe you guys think that. Because I know when I go to like North Carolina and Virginia and all that, people automatically pick up on the accent and they kind of get this impression that, oh, what's this guy about? And I get that. I get that, but I wanted to make a video to let you guys know going forward, uh, the Twitter fingers are retired. I had e-savage moments on Twitter. I mean, I'm going to cool out with that too. I'm going to stop tweeting stupid shit and all that because people might start taking that the wrong way. It's unprofessional. I got companies looking at me and um, 
going forward it's going to be a lot more reviews and a lot more live streaming and a lot less of the other videos like the commentaries giving my opinions and stuff like that um there will be giveaways for you guys the reason i stopped doing them is because pardon me um the reason i stopped doing them is because people will subscribe to my channel when i had a giveaway get the code and it disappear then i would see the same people on other youtube videos of course uh being live liking stuff on the timeline on twitter they liked all kinds of videos i'm like man you to a point where these guys may not even have no takes <laughs> but anyway let me get back on track um the bottom line is i don't care that you didn't uh, come back to my videos or anything but I, what i cared about is you took a code from my active subscribe on my channel so i was really irritated about that so i stopped doing the um giveaways but they will be returning because i got too many codes now i got ps4 xbox one and pc codes I even go back to The Last of Us. I still have The Last of Us codes, Assassin's Creed codes. I have uh, Batman Arkham Knight, Mad Max. I have a lot of codes, man. A lot of codes. So uh, I still got Rocket League codes. I still got Beta Keys. I got Tom Clancy um, Division Beta Keys. I got a lot of stuff for you guys. So the bottom line is, okay, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be streaming. When I'm streaming, I'm going to try to do a giveaway in every stream. Every stream will be an hour, two tops. Like I said, full-time father a uh, full-time job you know i work to take care of them and um you know on the side i do console repairs you may if you guys know that um i do repair consoles so i do know a lot about when i'm talking about the hardware another thing people act like i don't know what i'm talking about i do troll i'm not gonna lie i like to troll people to see what they're gonna say but at the end of the day i already kind of know but they think that i'm ignorant so i like to play on that and like laugh because people think oh that's that stupid dude who does the hip-hop stuff so uh he doesn't know nothing He's new on YouTube. He don't know nothing. I've been repairing consoles for God knows how long. So I find that to be hilarious when people think I don't know nothing. I know more than you guys do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and I went to graphics school. So that's like another whammy when I hear people say, I don't know anything. So I don't know about graphics and I don't know about hardware. Okay, if you say so. But uh, anyway, with that being said, uh, going forward, there's going to be a lot less videos. I'm probably going to do vlogs from time to time if you guys ask me about something. I know you guys want me to do a... Um, Y'all guys want me to do like a, a, a run through of my game and setup, but the reason I haven't done that is because if you look here, I actually have two gaming setups in here. I have one for the 4K stuff. This is like where all the next generation stuff is, and then I have my next, I have my last generation gaming setup in the other room. If I go in the other room, you'll see another Xbox One and another PS4. People don't understand that um, when I do reviews, I do them on an offline console. People say, oh, check the trophies and did it of people do reviews. Before this, I used to go to a place in Crown Heights in Brooklyn and do reviews. And when I did the reviews, you had to go to their Xbox and their PlayStation and sign into the designated account that they had to do the review. So how can you check the trophies if that that uh, game of score is like um, Moonshine 001? That's like you're going to think that's a fake account or that's not my account. And it's not my account. But this is why when I see those videos, I laugh because that's unprofessional too. When people say that, uh, you know, why do you have an offline account? You have to have an offline account because some people don't want you to go online when they do, do the review for them or you have to do it on their account because you have to do it on their machine. I have an offline account because when I used to do my reviews on the Xbox 360, whenever you played a game early, people would send you a message. So you had to go offline. But when you get the achievements, depending on how you set up your account, people could find that out too. But if you knew a person and they knew that, they could report you and you would get your console banned. Now, people were like, oh, no, you had to be the No, 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 no. You could actually get your console banned for um, trolling, um, getting reported for bad hate behavior, cheating, stuff like that. So there was times when I had to contact Microsoft and it was a whole bunch of nonsense. But the bottom line is you got to be offline when you do reviews for most games early unless you're like streaming them or it's not during an embargo but if you're breaking an embargo and you try to go online on your regular account and play a game a month before it comes out like with dying light i had a pc build of that if i don't went online with that man people would have been going ham people do that now when i try to get my trophies and achievements up I, i'll play the game on my regular account to try and get the score because you know it kind of sucks when you know you do a review and now that you you got to do that whole thing over 
And when I do that, people be hitting me up. Yo, how'd you get that game? How'd you get the game? I'm like, dude, y'all know I do fucking YouTube. Stop asking me how I got the game, man. <laughs> y'all know that already. So, you know, you get a whole bunch of messages like that. Then you turn off your notifications. You be in Hollywood. You ignoring them. Then they want to get mad and they act like, you know, they don't know you no more because they be a touchy. So it's, it's kind of, it's a lot of reasons to have an offline account. But bottom line is I will do that video probably at the end of the year because I want to do that, save that for, uh, my two year anniversary on YouTube. I'm gonna do this setup because my setup is a double gaming setup. It's not a regular gaming setup. So when I do it, y'all gonna be like, well, this dude is hardcore. <laughs> so I'm more of a gamer than y'all probably think. Hopefully that background I gave y'all don't stop you guys from assuming so much about me. I'm not a uh, ignorant ghetto dude, man. I'm, I'm really an actual normal guy. I never try to perceive to be that way. I had somebody tell me, yo, you not no killer. And I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is this guy talking about? When did I ever come off like that? And I realized it's because I listen to this to this type of music and I get it. I get it. But look, look, here's what people don't understand. I'm humble. I know the guy on this cover. You see who this is? I know this person. I, sh I shoot videos with his family. So when you know these people and you play their music, People think you're playing the music because you're ignorant. I'm playing the music because I'm about to go shoot that video. I'm playing the music because I'm supporting them because they supported me. So you guys judge a book by its cover, but really y'all have no clue. Maybe I need to be less humble and just come out and tell you guys I'm, I'm playing that music because I am that music. I don't know what you mean to do. Be cocky, talk crap. I don't know. Anyway, it's your boy Jimmy B Gaming, man. Going forward, I hope you guys like the changes that come to the channel. I'm going to be going way more professional. I'm going to keep it a lot more clean on this channel. Twitter will be getting a lot less of the uh, e-savage me. And uh, that's it, man. You know, if you made it to this video, thank you because it's very long. And I uh, appreciate you. And hopefully this background helps you guys understand who I really am, man. Because, you know, judging the book by its cover is the worst thing you could do. And I learned that from the way I got treated. And uh, hopefully you guys understand, you know, respect people for who they are, man. Everybody can't be the same way. And stop being so negative, black people, because on YouTube, it's very hard to make it because we already hate on each other. And then you got people that are used to a certain type of YouTube so they don't even want to let you in. They just, they automatically think you're ghetto trash and they don't think you deserve it. So, you know, when you see somebody that's trying to be, you know, productive and get through, don't hate, man. Hit, hit that like button, share that video, man. Stop it. You know, I got dudes that, uh, I'm not going to say names, but there's a bigger YouTuber who actually lives right, right around me. And he actually act like he don't even know me unless I see him in person. And it's like, damn, bro, I figured you growing up where I grew up at, you would understand the adversity that we go through. You know, I went to school just like you. You know, I had to ignore the temptations of drug dealing and gang banging just like you. Because, you know, when you grew up in an area like this, that's all they really give you is an option. You got to fight to go and go to school and get an education because people will be mad at you for that. People will literally think that you're trying to be better than them. And that, they have a crab in a barrel mentality where they try to pull you in. The police automatically think because you here, you got to be a part of the problem and they want to lock you up. And you got to go through that. You got to go through going to work and not, you know, resisting the temptation of doing the other stuff. So all I'm saying is stop judging the book by its cover. Hopefully the story that I share with you, as long winded as it is, you get the moral of what I'm trying to say. All right. So going forward, expect things to be a lot more professional and a lot less opinionated. And uh, for you people that leave those comments, I will no longer be replying to you. So if you wanna call me Hollywood, say whatever you're gonna say, fine. But just know that you will be getting ignored. Some of you may be even getting blocked. Some of you may even get your comments deleted. Uh, I usually leave them up there, but the spam folder has a lot of y'all in it. A lot of y'all don't even realize y'all in that spam folder. Y'all not even deleted, that's where y'all are at. And, um, for those of you that make it through, expect to sit there and get no reply from me because I had enough of uh, defending myself against uh, names on the screen. Y'all don't even know who I am. You know, I, I went through a lot to get where I'm at. Anyways, your boy Jimmy B. Gaming, I'm out of here. Thank you for your time. Peace.